Hello everyone. Today I'm going to make some cosmic baubles from the um, astronium we found last uh, yesterday. And then I'm going to go down and into the caves again to the core to see if I can find more astronium. I can't believe this is all there is, so there must be more. So there is the astronium we found yesterday, there's seven pieces, and then there is seven pieces including one on the printer um, of scrap. So let's change the printer, to, no not like that, uh, let's change the printer to print cosmic bubbles. There you go, there's the cosmic bubble. And let's make that an auto print and see if that arm, or oh, the arm won't pick it up uh, automatically unless we prime it with a cosmic bubble. So after the first one prints, I will switch this so that the printer can pick up the cosmic bubbles and put them over there. Because I don't have any cosmic bubbles yet. I got kind of lucky there that the printer didn't, that the auto arm didn't pick the printer up. So you see, it does the cosmic bubbles pretty nicely. Puts them all up there. There's one packet from from a pre previous print, one stellar object. Come on, pick this one up too. Thank you. So we have now all full. Let's look at one of them in the light, maybe a little bit. So, not here, like there. And let's really take a look at it. See, it's like a little solar system in a snow globe. That's what it is. Wow, that looks amazing. It's probably this solar system, my best guess would be. Although I'm not like super sure I will be able to recognize it. Alright, so there's the cosmic bubble right there. Pretty neat, huh? So this is full. Let's see how much it is. Um, It's supposedly more. Yeah, I think so. It's a little bit more. Uh, not hugely so, I must say. The cosmic bubbles also look amazing on on this thing. Oh, you can see it really close. Hold on. Oh, that is the the most closest view of a cosmic bubble. So, someone out there, tell me if this is the Astroneer solar system. I can count four planets. I know there are slightly more than four. Let's check it out. So there's Silva, which is a planet. The Solar is a moon. So one planet. Calidor is a planet. Um, I'm not sure anymore. <laughs> uh, I thought Calidor... Fasania has also a moon, which is Novus. Okay, so we have... We have... Fasania as a planet. Calidor, I suppose. Silva as a planet. So we have three planets. Then we have Glacial, which I'm on, which I think is a planet too. And then Aatrox. So, and that's the last one. There's no more planets. So I'm not super sure where Aatrox is here. Is that the, the one with the a little bit tilted orbit here? And then you have, or maybe Aatrox is the closest to the the sun that would make sense right because it has like methane on all kinds of other gases 
helium. Um, and maybe this is Calidor. Uh, this is glacial here because it's so far, and it's as you can see, it's like really cold here. So maybe that's what it is. Okay, so um, really close close up. I'm looking at the colors. There's also colors of planets. They don't move. I mean, it's already pretty cool that this is like that, but they don't move. This one is maybe Fasania because it's it's purple. This one looks kind of whitish, so maybe it's glacial. So we have we actually have five planets. I'm I'm blind. I can't count. So we have five planets here, right? One, two, three, four, five. So yeah, that's the Astroneer solar system. Pretty cool. So let's send this off. Off it goes. No one knows where. Somewhere up there. And now let's go back into the cave and find some more astronium. Hopefully. And hopefully I won't die. Like last time, where the thing got me, the little spitter got me. All right. Ow. Uh oh. Um. <laughs> what the heck happened? Oh, okay, okay. This is from the previous floor. From this floor, there's like a chasm there, or like a cave system. And when I switch to in here, I slid out there. I, I mean, I was on fire, to be honest. I didn't bring anything with me because there's still um, there's still stuff where I left it last time. There's a hook here, a curve, so I need to be a little bit careful. Wow. My feet don't make contact with the ground no more. Ah, they, they will definitely make contact sometime. Wow. That was crazy. I really have to say that I like this effect of weightlessness. I hope it's the right one, but right? it's the only one that's there, so better be right. Our friend Spitter will be here pretty soon. Uh-huh. Where's my container? Oh, here. Uh, okay. Mm -hmm. 
So we know there was some astronium here. There's also the spitter here. It says there's astronium there. I just hope I don't fall through. Oh, oh, oh. One. The indicator will tell you if there is anything that you can farm. Oh, 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 oh. oh no. Just plants. But I will try to tunnel through there because I need to go somewhere, right? I can't just give up. Clay is nice too, but I don't need it. Hmm. No. Sometimes stuff is on the ceiling, right? So, wow, that ceiling is really high. It's like a cathedral or something. Was this still clay? No. Oh, oh, oh. Do you see it? Do you see it? That has to be it because it glittered. Wow. Wow. Oh. Wow. Do you see it at eight fifty one? Cool. What the heck is this thing? A solar panel? Huh? Okay. That's what I was trying to do. I didn't want all those things in the way. And now I want to build a ramp up there. Not too steep. The mushrooms are harmless, so you don't need to worry about those. Mm. 
Probably still more. I want to go out of there. a decent amount of astronium there. I wonder if I need to open my medium storage container. Well, Now when I need to tether, it's down there again. All right. I want to load up on astronium and see how much I'm getting. If I'm getting enough to fill the medium canister, I will try to, to unpack it and carry it up. Carrying up will be not easy. So I don't think I have seen anyone do that on YouTube, but the the storage canister should work with astronium, right? Why, why wouldn't it? Wait, it's like instantaneously falling. That's like the first thing that he does. Just falls. So let's try this out. Perfect. It works. I mean, it's a resource. It's not... A very common resource. It cost me a life yesterday because the spitter was in the in the chamber material and I couldn't couldn't kill it. I tried to cover it as, as best as I could with with soil. So unfortunately, this is going to be. The best that we can do, I mean, of course, I could bring down a rover with a drill mod and all that kind of thing. But remember, we are at the core of the planet. This is the farthest that we could possibly go. What is that stuff there on the floor? Debris. Okay. Wow. Oh, 
Good. I wonder if I can actually bring the storage canister up there. Wait, it says it's almost full? Are you serious? How, how many does the storage canister hold? Like 32? Okay, then I won't bring it up. Because if it's almost full... Oh. Oh, oh, oh. We'll take an entire backpack anyways, full with astronium. I mean, I could take a little bit more astronium, but I think I will leave the stuff down here. Compound I can make. Um, and having two full soil canisters is worth something. Can I make something with astronium? No, right? No. I need scrap. So, uh, now what I have been dreading, I need to carry this thing. Oh, hold on. I have an idea. I can put an astronium here, right? Like this. Yeah, it will stay. So one more. Okay. Wow. Okay. I mean, it should be straightforward, right? I just carry this out. <laughs> should be straightforward, right? I follow the line. I mean, it can't be easier than that. Don't spit at me, spitter. See, there's this... This um, way around the spitter who is, like, stuck in this thing. I put like a whole bunch of soil around it, 
It sort of works. Doesn't work great, but it does work a little bit. Not sure how I'm going to automate this. The things. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. This guy is getting like excited. Look at this. <laughs> okay, so this is going to be slightly boring, but I'm just going to go all the way up now. Um, yeah. Oh. But you know, that is quite a haul. haul. That's a lot of astronium. <laughs> I mean, I could have left some of the tools down there, but didn't necessarily feel like it. I mean, my drill bit is... Whoa, whoa, whoa. What is this over there? Partner, right? Yeah, partner. This flower, though. You see all the astronium on my backpack hanging? <laughs> There's a lot down there. I wonder if I should make a couple of those. You know, um, I have a bunch of more soil, uh, uh, resource canisters. Maybe I'll empty them or I'll print some new ones. What does this thing need? I think like glass and plastic, right? Plastic is compound and carbon, so that's all soil centrifuge. Uh-huh. Come on. Keep going. I'm actually running, to be honest. This is running. This is not running. Okay, it doesn't seem to be like super different. I wonder how that research item, the glowing ball does. I mean, it's not as great as a zebra ball, but still pretty impressive lying around. Oh, okay. Come on. I said that earlier. I need to flatten that out. But I only, I only notice when I'm going up, not when I'm going down. Uh -huh. Oh, wow. Oh, oh, oh. Ladder right. The event drops um, aluminum alloy. So that's the stuff that you need for a rover. And I already have two rover parts. I mean, you know, I could be like bossing it with three. Oh, oh, oh. But I think bossing it with three rovers is a little bit on glacier you could pull it off. Especially with a drill on, on in the front. Alright. Yeah. So what I will probably have to do is make a whole bunch of scrap. 
and then I don't know what I'm going to do automation wise because if I have this thing I might, might need a switch but for a switch I need zinc So if I if I have a switch, um, I can make zinc, but I would have to go somewhere else. And when you put this uh, storage container on output, it just fills up the entire storage platform. So it and it will always be like before the robot arm, right? Because the robot arm can't react fast enough. So maybe I will do something with two robot arms that pick stuff off of storage can off of storage platforms, and this thing just fills it up. I do have an entire of these containers of scrap on silver. But we can do one more thing. How much scrap do I have on this one? Not enough is there a scrap in the printer no so there's only five scrap i wanted to send one of those off because we have eight there's six here one here and one here so we have eight but then i only have five scrap so for today what i'm going to do is just put, put this here all nicely and then i will think of something automation wise how we can automate that uh, because again, if I turn this on, it will just fill up the entire storage platform. Let me show that to you. You won't take the printer, will you? I'll put this here. Check this out. It just fills it up. And once it's full, this robot arm won't be able to deposit scrap on it. I had this problem when I was doing probe scanners manually. See, it makes it awful cool screenshot though to be honest let's, let's turn it like this yeah thanks <laughs> that's what i meant it just spits them out as fast as it can look at this that's quite a bit of astronium So maybe I will go and get more because that spot has a lot of astronium and then we can do some automation. The cosmic bubbles get printed amazingly fast. I mean, super amazingly fast, right? I think they print faster than the, than the stellar objects do. So that's it for today. <clears throat> I will think of what else I can do tomorrow. <laughs>